My goals are to empower the community by development, developing their skills on building techniques and on um, growing vegetables. So uh, there will be a training process in order to um, uh, change the, um, the main resources that they, they use to build their own houses. So instead of using mangrove or coral stones, the the community will be teach will be taught how to use um, uh, clay and and build with bri sun dried bricks. And for the food, there will be a a, a school a training school to to teach the community how to grow different vegetables and to process them and deliver it on the market where all the employees that will be working for Anodarko or any could buy their their goods and the same goes to Patakua and Mondlan that are the villages that are nearby Okay, and in what way has, has the territory been affected by future gas exploitation? So, as I said before, there is, there is uh, Patoku and Mondlan. They are one of the, I can't recall how many villages, but there is a territory of 20, 25,000 square meters that will be uh, affected by this new uh, project. So, seven. 7,000 will be delivered to Anna Dark and Annie, and there will be uh, 18,000 uh, that would be uh, delivered, that would be transformed into a new uh, Palma city, industrial city. So all the villages will suffer um, resettlements. So people will be resettled, and this could be a problem. So. Uh, my aim is that by resettling these people, uh, could be uh, we could find a way to grow them economically. What is the role of social and humanitarian architecture? So I I think that architecture is not uh, just to build buildings, huge buildings, skyscrapers, and that change. Um, lives of uh, developed countries. I think that if we um, learn by the traditional architecture, spontaneous architecture, and if we have the skills and the capaci cap capacity of um, drawing uh, big projects, we can also uh, help the community to develop nice projects functional projects, sustainable projects, useful projects, because architecture must be also useful, not just pretty. In what way the project can be inserted in the local customs and tradition? So I was saying uh, this community village is uh, as houses, and there I try to build them as the traditional houses, as a hut. Even if I choose different materials, I choose to leave um, the closed spaces uh, just for sleeping or cooking or cleaning. And the most part of the plot will be reserved at the center to get together. So uh, with a tree, big tree, uh, normally we use the cajuero, it's the nut tree. And uh, skills are transmitted from the oldest to the youngest this way since I don't know when. So I, I hope that this characteristic could uh, pass this tradition.